Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we start the video, I would like to give you a quick demo on what we are going to build in this video. Using Postman, we will send a mobile number and a message to our API and see how it works. So, you got the basic idea what we are going to build in this video? Let's get that thing started. Now let's jump over to Spring Initializer to create our Spring Boot application. Simple and uh, basic Spring Web dependency. Now after just creating the project, import the project into your favorite tidy. It may be Eclipse, Intel J or whatever if you are like. And add this dependency called uh, Twilio dependency. This Twilio dependency helps to simplify and make the process a bit smoother. Now let's jump into entity class. So create a separate package for entity and create a class in it with the name of Twilio request. So we are creating a class with a Twilio request name. You can see. Now the class is created, uh, we will annotate this class with the data annotation which will automatically generate the getters, setters and constructors. We will import the Lombok operations. Uh, now we are going to create a variable to get phone number and that is string to phone number. Here we have used a private final string to phone number to get the phone number and uh, private final string message to get the message. So these variables stores the phone number and uh, message that we are going to send and after completing the entity class we are going to jump into the controller. Similarly we we will create a separate package for controller named West Controller. In this package, let's create our uh, controller class named SMS Controller. Now we have our controller class. Uh, we will annotate this class with the uh, REST Controller annotation. and uh, we will use public response entity strings so now you can see i'm creating a api endpoint post mapping for a sms send message and add post mapping annotation with the sms as an endpoint for this and it will take a video request as a parameter And we are giving uh, request body. Request body contains Twilio request, uh, and uh, we are going to create an object Twilio request. And now we'll add some validations whether the two phone number and a message are null or not, whether they are null or not. See here, I'm checking whether the to phone number and uh, the message section should not be null if it's null it should return like a invalid request with a bad request as its status so we have given here response entity along with uh, bad request and uh, in the body we are giving invalid request so if both the fields are not null then we are going to create three variables to hold from number message and to number and uh, to number two string to number Now 
here we are using the message dot creator method from the Twilio API. It takes three parameters: the sender's phone number, the receiver's phone number, and the actual message text. The receiver's phone number. Here we have the sender's phone number. and the message finally by calling dot create method the message is sent now jump to the main class we need to set up the account sid the authentication token of uh, twilio account create a twilio account and get the required fields from the account and uh, there is also a tutorial on Twilio account creation. You can check on that. And then initializing Twilio and make sure our application is connected to Twilio and ready to send messages. Twilio account ID and uh, Twilio authorization. Thanks for watching my video.